there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Koto Bakir Artifacts Plus Anakin Skywalker from Revenge of the Sith. He is a 1 tenth scale pre-painted model kit and as you can see he's looking pretty damn awesome on the box. I do like these Kota Bakirs, they always come very nicely packaged indeed and you can see the back there nice image there of the statue and some other images there in color premium boxing this or premium packaging rather and we're going to see how many different pieces are in here to build the model it might come with some different arms and stuff like that so we're going to just take a look I and mean, we can see there he's got his arm down there well, he does there as well but uh, sometimes these have different arms and stuff that you can put on so we're going to check it out and give it a little review. All right, so there it is outside of the box and it doesn't look like it has any sort of extra pieces. It just looks like it's got the head, the legs, the torso and the boots and obviously the lightsaber with the magnetic stand there. Every other Kota Bakir statue that I have got or I've had in the past or I've re reviewed in the past has had extra arms so you can make them in different poses and what have you but this one doesn't it's purely a one-off statue which is fine it's still going to look pretty cool so let me take it all out there and show you what it looks like built all right so there's the magnetic stand and then we'll take all the pieces out of their little baggies so here's the uh, sort of torso with his cloak we have his legs here <laughs> We have his two boots um, and they have the magnets in like that. Of course we have the head which we'll get a closer look up in a second and then we have the lightsaber hilt and the blade so let's put that in first of all. That can only go in one way like that. That looks pretty cool pretty in scale. And again we'll take a closer look at that in a second once we've got Anakin built so let's put his uh, his boots on and that looks like his left leg to me oh no, that's his right oh, that's his right leg And his left leg they just go in like that pretty awesome and then we'll just put his body together they just fit together like that and then the head goes in like so and then we can get him holding the lightsaber like that so yeah he's looking really really good so let's get a closer look at Anakin Skywalker. So there we go, there's a closer look at the sculpting on the head and obviously you've got all the paintwork and what have you. You've got his scar on his eye. His eyes are the Sith eyes, which looks pretty awesome. Now I've got to admit, I, I think that the sculpting there looks better on the box in terms of a likeness to Hayden Christensen. Once it's out of the box, I don't know, my one just, I'm not sure if it looks like him enough to um say that it's you know say that they've got it spot on the hair's good good painting on the hair and everything but i'm not 100 percent sure about the shape of the face there but um some good detailing on his outfit as you can see and it's all been nicely sculpted in and some nice paintwork on the belt there and then if we turn him around you know they've done a really good job on the way the cloak drapes there with the hood and just the paintwork on there just making it look like it's uh, made of cloth which of course it's not because it's all one sort of plastic statue I guess you could call it plastic there he is the one tenth scale Anakin there he is with his lightsaber so another decent Kota Bakir statue to um, put into my collection I want to thank Hio.com for sending this for me to review 
Um, these aren't something that I, you know, as you know, on this channel, I collect sort of action figures, but I do, I do like the statues. I do like the Kota Pakir statues more often than not. They're very, very good detail and everything. And yeah, I'm just, I'm not really sure about that head sculpt at some positions. It looks okay. Others, it doesn't really look like the, the actor there. And he kind of looks down as well, which is, um, if you're looking at it from this angle, you can't really see his face that well. Um, I much prefer sort of like the troopers, like the biker scout. I did a review for him. I did a review for the TIE fighter pilot. And I think I prefer those. But saying that, if you look at the detail on his outfit, they've done a decent job on the outfit and the way the um, cape and everything, or his cloak, the way that droops. This piece of his clothing here has been bent back there, which is pretty good. It's like it's flowing in the wind and he's standing there. It looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. I'm just not 100% convinced with the face. As I say, in some angles, maybe there it looks right. But there, I'm not sure if it does. But, you know, human faces are very difficult to capture the likeness. But, um, you know, they've done a half decent job. All right, then, guys, let me know what you think of this Koto Bakir Artifacts Plus statue. Thank you very much for watching as usual. And we shall see you on the next one.